I made it to the shelter, uh, Dally Pond, um, inside it right now. Now, ironically, the same company, Bruton Brunton, that makes this, also, uh, again, it's a, a Swedish company, they also make uh, my stove, too. Optimus is the uh, company, I guess they've been making stuff since 1894 or something. Now, this stove I have here is the, the Nova, and this is it right here. It comes. Mine came in this carrying case, uh, and it came with a magnet cleaner. You run this under the bottom. Actually, I'll, I'll show you. you. Take these, the sides, flip open to make it a stand. That goes there you take your bottle you can it's got a quick release on it too this just clips right in there get the stove set up right here now you can take this and you just put it under the bottom of this it magnetically cleans. There's a little pin that sits inside this in the uh, jet port that shoots the fuel up and this magnet causes that pin to go up and down which cleans out any fouling that's in the end of the fuel port right there. I don't know if you can hear it going up and down on that. Um, now, <coughs> excuse me, they still sell this stove. Uh, you can still buy it brand new. It, it's a little bit different. I think uh, some of these parts that uh, that are all silver on mine, I think they're green. Um, one major difference, though, is when I bought this stove, this came with it. It's just part of the package, uh, the, the actual case for the stove itself. But on the newer ones, I think they come standard with a stuff sack to put that in, something something like, more like this um, yeah I, I think they come with with a bag like this that you put that in and this is now an option like most things nowadays it's the same thing with cars stuff that used to come standard on a car is an option now um, it's the same thing with this stove I believe um, you wouldn't get this this carrying case you'd have to buy it separately they still make it they still sell it you just wouldn't get it with that unless you unless it was a higher package but um, originally it just came with it. And uh, this stuff sack, another, another Optimus product, um, Brunton, this right here. It's my uh, two part mess kit. This part's, I, I use this as a teacup. It's, I guess it's considered a pan. Um, I have fried stuff on this before, brought vegetable, I mean, um, olive oil in, in a little uh, carrying container and then use that for that. This is my one I use for boiling water. The nice thing about it, if you can see right there, it's got the measurements on the side of it built right in so there's no room for error. You just use it. Um, this right here, it's a freeze-dried mountain house meal. Um, but it came in a number 10 can, which is just, it, it looks like a soup can, but it's probably about that big around and about that tall. And it's for buying bulk in this. If those, those cans, they have the freeze-dried food just like this in them. Um, but those, uh, they're good for something like 30 or 35 years if you don't open them. You can just leave them on the shelf for that long. They get that kind of a shelf life. And, um... You can open it up and it'll be just as fresh as it was today if you had it today. What I usually do, because I have the the number 10 can, um, I use obviously a sandwich bag, put the uh, put the, the rice in there and the, the individualized amounts. That's got two cups in it and you're supposed to add a cup and a half of water to it, which will help me with this, 12 ounces, cup and a half. Um, 
And uh, I, I saved one of my Mountain House individual bags from last time. I just, when I get home after camping usually, or even if I'm out there, I use a pond or a stream or something, uh, clean this all out again, and you can reuse it. It, it uh, Eventually the, the laminate comes off of the, um, the, the Ziploc part right there, but it, it, you can get a lot of uses out of one of these bags. They sell something, um, like a kit for this. But, I mean, it's easier just to buy one of these and save the bag. Cheaper, too. Um, so I got my, my Nalgene bottle. I'm going to put this up to 12 ounces because for two cups of that rice requires a uh, cup and a half on this. <clears throat> then I take... Take the bag here, get this opened up. I like to get everything ready to go before I turn the stove on. I'll actually show you, I mentioned in my, uh, hold on. Bags. Bags are always good out here. Um, okay, yeah, so just put that in the cookable bag, put that off to the side. Um, like I was saying, my um, when I was in my uh, out here last time in my other video, I uh, I mentioned that my buddy Steve had showed me a really neat way for getting these stoves lit. So, and it's using your uh, your ferrocium rod. So I'll just put this off to the side also. You gotta prime this up, the stove. It's just got it's got the pump on it. So you just uh, prime that up. I mean, this is such a durable stove. It's expensive. I uh, I think I paid... I actually had a, a gift card to a camping outfitter in, uh, in where was it? it? Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Um, it was right off the highway, I-95. And that gift card was like 50 bucks. This cost, I think, it was somewhere between 130 and 160 and I got the fifty dollar off with the gift card and I paid the difference myself out of pocket and uh, I got this thing I wanna say five six seven years ago something like that I've been using it on every backpacking trip since and uh, it, it has never failed me it's worked perfect performed great every single time now uh, see so just it's got this has this has this right here on the side you just open up this valve turn it to let the gas in and then you can just take this and as you can see it just lights right up now it's good to have a wind block I didn't do that I should have there's the wind I ironically is coming from the direction I'm filming from so I'll move this over here You gotta let it prime up, so it's gonna sit here and get warm for a bit. And then there it goes. Now I usually take the the uh, the part that I use as the teacup, and I cover this. It boils quicker, it saves your fuel.
Actually, at this point, I can even I can even use this as a a windbreak. So yeah, I mean, hmm. this is another awesome tool. On. Just send a spark into the thing, get some gas going, send a spark into there, it catches right up, and then I used to fumble for for then until Steve just told me that we went that was uh, we went to Mount Washington. One of my um, YouTube videos has uh, about three one minute segments of um, the base camp and and above the tree line and stuff and. In that one was when he actually showed me the first time how to that I could just use that for that. And I've had one of these for years. I've had that for years. I just never put the two together. I never even thought I could just. Oh, I used to take uh, strike anywhere, waterproof matches, and uh, use those. Take those and have to stick them in the bottom and get the gas to light. And sometimes it was two or three times of trial and error to to get it going. And and that sucked. But with this, as you can see, second shot, sparked it right in there, the whole thing went up like it should, and and uh, it was perfect. So, that's another thing, too. Obviously, if you if you forget something, you can, oops, you can just as easily improvise with what you have. And if, you, if you don't have a windbreak, you can make a windbreak with the stuff around you. After the water boils, uh, I just take it, pour it in the bag here, and uh, zip lock the top shut, let it sit for six, seven, eight, nine minutes, just let it sit, and uh, when it's done, it reconstitutes the, the rice, and it's delicious, it really is. I love these Mountain House meals, and they're quick. They have, um, they have other brands that do the same thing. Uh, that you can buy camping food, but some of it's like a process. You got it says like separate out the the mashed potatoes and reconstitute the chicken, and then add the mashed potatoes back in and add more water. I mean, when you're out here, you don't have a kitchen. You have what you have around you. I like just you know plug and play. You take this and you dump it in there and you let it sit. I mean, once you boil the water, put it in the meal. The meal constitutes you eat the meal. I don't I don't want to have to mess around with um, like step one, step two, step three. Simple is is always the best when you're out here, you know. Ugh. So that being said, those are what I go with. Mountain House out of all the different kinds. Walmart used to carry them. Now they don't. Um, now they carry a Coleman brand, and I'm not too I'm not too keen on them. I still now I just have to go on eBay or, or Amazon or something and buy bulk of these but to, to save on the money. But Walmart used to have a really good deal on the same stuff and it sucks that they stopped carrying it. It really does. Oh this was the uh, one more thing. I won't have to be uh, carving a, a spoon this time to eat my meal. I remembered it this time. This was the, this is the, uh, the Optimus set that you can get. It comes with a carabiner and a uh, fork knife spoon. These are titanium. They will last you forever. And, uh, they're, I mean, they're just the right size. They're not too heavy. Some people that are really die hard minimalist uh, probably wouldn't want these because obviously they are metal they do weigh something and those people would probably more have to have like a spork or something but I don't know I just prefer these I've, I've had really good luck with them I they're exp I think these are like I paid 30 40 bucks something like that for them uh, all in all shipping and everything but they're worth it I like them and uh and they get the job done.